Is the mouthpiece of your vape completely gross? Well, researchers have been testing them recently to find out. Now that disposable vapes are out because of the environmental concerns, rechargeable or refillable ones are in. But is anyone actually cleaning the mouthpiece? Um, well, researchers in Australia recently wanted to know. So they got 25 volunteers who vape every day. Uh, they asked them to submit their vapes and they also tested their mouths. They asked them if they cleaned them and none of them actually cleaned the vapes. Um, but once they'd done the testing, they found that barely any of them contained any bacteria. However, just over half, 52%, contained a fungal species that was different to anything found in the mouths. Now the researchers concluded that these fungal species, 80% of them could potentially cause uh, ill health in humans. However, there was no evidence that they were found in, in sufficient numbers to cause ill health in humans. Also, it's only a small sample, 25 people in Australia. So they're not trying to generalize these findings further afield, but it does beg the question, if now the vape is gonna be rechargeable and refillable, should you clean it? Yeah, you should probably clean the mouthpiece or clean the vape. Medical cannabis users who use dry herb vapes use isopropyl alcohol wipes to just wipe it down every so often. 